Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is our third episode of our Power BI Admin series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about usage metrics. What are usage metrics in Power BI and how we can utilize them. But before going further, I would like to request you guys to send us your queries and concern with the proper details on our email address or you can also contact us using our website that is www.biconsultingpro.com I know that you all are working on the Power BI reports, dashboards and the other aspects of it you come across different challenges so this series that is Power BI daily life challenges is dedicated for you in case you encounter any problem or you need to know any solution of your problem please email us or you can also submit a form using our website where you can navigate to ask me anything and then we will try to get back to you ASAP. Now let's start today's topic. The very first question comes into our mind what is usage metrics? Well, usage metrics lets you monitor Power BI usage for your organization. It also shows which users and groups in your organization are the most active in Power BI. So by looking at this, you can get to know which user is more active or who all are accessing the reports into your organization. That's how it is very important for you to get to know about the usage metrics. But before going further, you should also note that the first time you access the dashboard or after you visit again after a long period of not viewing the dashboard, you will likely see a loading screen while we load the dashboard. So you should wait and once it's going to analyze your all the usage metrics, it's going to get populated. After the dashboard loads, you see two sections of tiles. The very first section includes usage data for individual users and the second section has similar information for the groups. The very first metrics that you are going to see is the distinct count of dashboards, reports and data sets in the user workspace. So you will get to know over here how many dashboards are there or the number of reports or the number of data sets. The second one would be the most consumed dashboard by number of users who can access it. For example, you have a dashboard that you shared with three users. You also added the dashboard to a content pack that two different users connected to. The dashboard's count would be six, that is one plus three where you have shared plus two. So that means two different users, three dashboards and plus you, then it would be total count would be six. So you can see on your screen that most consumed dashboard by users are coming over here. I'll show you everything in my Power BI portal as well later. But let's move forward now. The most popular content. So whenever you are connected to the admin portal, you are in the, the usage metrics. You will see it over there the most popular content users connected to. The content would be anything the users could reach through the get data process such as SAAS, software as a service content packs, organizational content packs, files or databases. That is going to look something like you can see on my screen right now which is a tree chart or tree map you can see and here you can see the most popular contents users connected to. So as mentioned to you previously, you would find two different sections. One is for the particular users, another would be for the groups. So in each of them, you will find the top users with the most dashboard and top users with the most reports. Similarly, you will find the top groups with the most dashboard and top groups with the most reports. Now let's talk about the control usage metrics. Well, Usage metrics reports are a feature that the Power BI or global administrator can turn on or off. Administrators have granular control over which users have access to usage metrics. They are owned by default for all users in the organization. 
Admin can also determine whether content creators can see per user data in the usage matrix. So in our upcoming video, we are going to more talk about the monitor usage matrix. So I'll show you over there how you can go there, how you can pin them or how you can create a dashboard out of this. Usage metrics for content creators. So definitely, as I mentioned you earlier, it can be turned on or off by the admin. So you should know how to go into this one. So in order to go for this one, usage metrics for content creators, what you have to do, you have to go to your tenant settings. Under tenant settings, you will go to the audit and usage settings where you will find the usage metrics for content creators option. And there you can enable or disable it and then you can apply the changes. After a short while, I'm also going to show you on my Power BI services so that you can have a feel like how it does work actually. Why user data in usage metrics for content creators? Well, this is another option. In the same window, you will go there, you can enable, disable it, or you can also enable it for the entire organization or a specific group. And as it says, usage metrics for content creators will expose display names and email addresses of users who are accessing the content. So please make sure that you really want to do it or you don't want to do it. Now the last part is delete all existing usage metrics content. Now so far what we have seen here that we can create it. Now suppose we have to delete it then how we are going to do that. For that you will see in my previous slide at the bottom there is an option delete all existing per user data in current usage metrics content. So we can delete it from here as well. When disabling usage metrics for the entire organization, admins can also choose one or both of the options. The number one is delete all existing usage metric content. To delete all existing reports and dashboard styles that were built uses the usage metrics reports and data sets. This option removes all access to usage metrics data for all users in the organization who may already be using it. The second option is delete all existing per user data in current usage metrics content which i just explained to you to remove all access to per user data for all users in the organization who may already be using it however i'll say be careful because deleting existing usage and per user metrics content is irreversible that means you cannot recover it back so delete it once you are 101% sure that you have to delete it. Now we are going to have a look at the demo where I'm going to show you all these options and the metrics, how it's going to appear into your Power BI admin portal. So guys, right now I'm on my Power BI services. I have logged in. You can also log in with your own user account. That is your work or school email address. And once you are going to log in, you will come on this beautiful home page where you will find all the contents. But our main concern is just to go into the admin portal. For that, on your right hand side, on the top bar, you will find this gear icon. Click on this. Once you will click on it, then you have to click again on the admin portal. By default, as you can see, if you are going to log in it after a long time, it can load your report. It would take some time. And now we are under this admin portal where first option is the usage matrix. Here you can see the first three tiles are going to show you the number of dashboards, number of reports and number of data sets. Once you will see this, after this you will get this most consumed dashboard by users and then most consumed packages by users. As I mentioned you in the beginning of this video that you will find two partitions over here. One is by users you can see top users with most dashboards top users with most reports and then you will find by the groups as well which you can see here top groups with most dashboards and most consumed dashboards by groups so that's how it's divided into groups and per user now let's go and check the settings how you can delete all the existing usage metrics content for that we have to go to the tenant settings and under tenant settings as i mentioned to you previously you have to scroll down 
and then you have to go under the audit and usage settings audit and usage settings over here you can see this now under this we have an option of usage metrics for content creators so which is the middle option so i'm gonna expand this and which is enabled by default if you want to enable it for a specific security group you can do it over here you can start mentioning the email addresses and if you want someone to exempt from this you can also mention over here accept specific group now you will get this option over here delete all existing usage metrics content if you want to delete everything but if you want to delete the metrics for particular users so what you can do you can come over here at the last option and here once you're gonna click on the specific security group then you will find this which is the last option over here delete all existing by user data in current usage metrics so that's how you can delete it from there remember this if you are gonna delete it once you cannot recover it back so it's irreversible delete it only once you are 110 percent sure so guys this was all about the usage metrics that you need to know how you can delete it or how you can apply it for a particular security group or a particular user group or to the whole organization how you can manage them how you can read them what are the different options you are going to get over there in my next video or the upcoming video we are going to discuss about the monitor usage metrics in classic workspace so guys stay tuned for more exciting videos if you haven't subscribers please subscribe us and hit the bell icon for the latest videos